In today's video, we're going over a progressing exercise yes! for the patellar tendon. Okay, so in patients that have patellar tendinopathy, we know they can easily overdo it with exercises. We give them too much, it can aggravate them. If you think about it, they're playing something like basketball, they're already doing a lot, they have an overuse injury, if we just throw too much at them, we just make it worse, right? We also don't want to underdo it because if we don't give them enough exercise, hard enough exercises, then when we're doing a rehab and they go back to playing their sport, we might not have prepared them to an added degree, adequate degree so they don't hurt themselves again in the future. For these patients, we need to know how to meet them where they are in terms of tissue irritability and give them the correct exercises for where they are in terms of rehabilitation. So a paper by Silva et al. in 2024 gave us some solutions for this problem. Essentially, they were using motion capture and force plate technology. They were able to determine loading peak, loading rate, and loading impulse, and they ended up showing which movements were the least stressed to the patellar tendon and ramping up all the way to the hardest exercises on patellar tendon. So we can use this information guiding our patients to have patellar tendinopathy, but also pretty useful for post-op ACL reconstruction where they use a patellar tendon autograph. And so they ranked these exercises in three different categories tier one or low stress, tier two or moderate stress, and tier three or high stress. And we're gonna go through all of these exercises, starting with the easiest, tier one, and working our way up all the way up to hardest, tier three. Another thing I'll say is that when I was reading through the paper, I didn't know what some of the exercises were. So I just omitted them. I didn't want to guess what the exercises were and spread a bunch of misinformation. At some point, I'd love to talk to some of the authors and see what those exact exercises are. But for now, I just skipped the ones I didn't know what they were. We're gonna start off with tier one exercises, low stress up to highest stress. Next are tier two exercises from low stress to high stress. Pardon the interruption, but I have something that's going to change your life. It's a million dollars. No, it's not. But it's an evidence-based guide to patellar tendinopathy. Staying on top of literature is hard. Never feels good to have a patient in front of you with a specific condition, and you haven't read through the research recently. Well, this bad boy is going to help you out. It is an evidence-based cheat sheet for patellar tendinopathy, and my promise to you is I'm going to catch you up to date with the literature on patellar tendinopathy under 10 minutes. We go over definitions, anatomy, and biomechanics, differential diagnosis, risk factors, prevalence, clinical presentation, recurrence rates, how to diagnose this condition, and all the best treatments for this common problem. Best of all, it's 100% free. So go ahead and click on that link in the show notes in the description and get your cheat sheet on how to best treat patellar tendinopathy. Now back to your video.
Next are the tier three exercises, which are the hardest exercises, starting with the easiest to the hardest. Okay, so now you know how to dose exercises for patients with patellar tendinopathy. If you want a deep dive about patellar tendinopathy, I recommend clicking on that link right there in the corner, and we'll go over what physical therapists need to know about patellar tendinopathy. Click on that link right there, and I'll see you in that video.